we are here at SeaWorld San Antonio. We're gonna show Matthew these wonderful rides. He's never been here before. That is correct. Well, technically I was here when I was really little, but there's nothing, no roller coasters here at that point, so. Pretty cool little model they have here. Cool thing is, is we'll be able to get on ride footage so. Everybody can join us for our rides. Well, we just got off the of Catapult Falls, and as you can see, you will get wet on this ride. It was like a freaking cannon went off, and my face just drenched me. Uh, but yeah, great ride though. Highly recommend this one. So I'm just waiting on Matt and Jason to get off of Great White. I'm not a big fan of any of the B&M inverts, so. They may have some of the absolute slowest dispatches I have ever seen here because I, it's been like eight minutes and I still haven't seen a train go up yet. So my good friend Joe is stuck on the ride. So we're going to check on her. That's what's taking so long. They got her off. Yeah, they got her off a bit. Where'd she go? Uh, got her off. Look who it is. <laughs> oh, how's it going? Oh, 
Look at these three. About to do great white. We're about to get on Wave Breaker again. Woo! With, with Joe. Well, we're just about to leave SeaWorld San Antonio. Got the boys here with me. It's fun. It was a couple brutal... hours, two hours is more than enough in this park. Yeah, two hours is more than enough in this park. Yes, it is. There, I mean, you can literally do everything in this park in like two hours. Every time I've been here, there's never a line. I mean, the operations are not the greatest. There's never a line, there's always a wait. There, there. Yeah, there's never a line, always a wait. That's well put, Jason. But um, it's, I mean, there is some good coasters. We got to see a uh, track back there behind Steel Eel or towards the side of it. And it yeah. looks like they're building a new coaster for 2025 is what I was hearing. We'll see. SeaWorld's a little bit slow getting things done. I mean, catapult fall, falls there it only took them like two years three years to get that built so whether it was their fault or not or whose fault it was I'm honestly not here they worry. can take their time building the coasters because the more they build the more understaffed they're gonna be 